Welcome, Mary <laughs> Patterson, to the Thank Young you. Athletic. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Uh, you teach at De Anza, and you have a running club, right? I do. Um, I have a cross-country team uh, that we... Our sport is in the fall, kind of mm -hmm. like the high schools, and uh, we compete against other schools from around the county. And um, I've been doing that for about, I don't know, what, 13 years now, I think. Yeah, wow. So do you do um, the middle schoolers? Do you also have a like a track team for high schoolers as well? I don't, no. Um, most of our athletes, they go and do Tigres, which is a youth oh, yeah. program. Something that I did when I was a kid, and yeah. it's still been going on. Um, so I send most of those kids over. I, you know, try to if they want to be running year round, then I try to get them to do T race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I lose uh, some uh, soccer players to T race <laughs> in the spring. Yeah. Yeah. T race and baseball. It's a great program. Yeah, but our our program is different in the fact that you know we don't charge any money. Um, anybody that wants to run can. And yeah. um, it's like a club-like sport, but it's part of the school as well. Yeah, so tell us more about your program. So um, it started out, like, even before me, um, back in 2004, I think some teachers got together and wanted some runners, and they wanted to create a middle school program, mm -hmm. um, you know, a smaller version of what they do in high school, and kind of like a feeder program for those schools, and some coaches got together and they kind of set, you know, a schedule and uh, they decided that, you know, they're going to make it a 3K because that's a good distance for kids that age. Mm -hmm. And um, it was all volunteer and it started out super small. Um, I, I would say a couple of hundred kids at the most, um, both that's boys and bad. girls. And So um, did it start at one school? Or was it like... I know that Matilla Ha Junior High was an integral part of starting the program. Um, Dave Sedham, who I went to high school with, was, you know, one of the um, OGs, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, for middle school cross country. And then um, our school got involved and um, we kind of we kind of limped along for a couple of years and it didn't really grow. And by that time, I had my own kids, and I went out on maternity leave. And I came back, and our school wasn't a part of the league at that time. And when I came back, um, it seemed like there could be more. So um, there was emails floating around, and I just kind of took charge and started answering the emails. And I got Josh Spiker involved. Um, he has a running store in town, Mile 26. Is that um, on Thompson? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen um, it. Uh, he used to be, um, it was also inside track. He used to own both. And um, he has a timing company. Mm. And we were doing, like, little um, stickers for the kids. And when they'd finish, we'd put their sticker on the board. And then someone would match their time later. And then results would get out a week or two later. And we were kind of like... This is before the timing system. This is before. Okay. This is yeah. like initially starting out. <laughs> yeah. And it was kind of rinky dink, but you know, we had a lot of kids involved. And then when Josh uh, joined, it just kind of exploded. Uh, we ended up, uh, right, right now, I think we have like 23 middle schools involved. Wow. Um, we have an elementary division as part of our program. We've kind of outgrown ourselves. Okay. I mean, everybody wants to be a part of this league. It's just, you know, there's nothing like it around, yeah. um, so it's just it, it's just an amazing uh, it, it's an amazing uh, thing to be a part of, really. Yeah, I went to the um, the final race at El Camino to watch two of my players. Okay, yeah. So that was the elementary division. It must have been elementary because we okay. raced at Arroyo Verde. No, sorry, it was Arroyo Verde. Okay, that, that's what yes. it was. Yeah. Yeah, and it was it was packed. It's I mean, it packed. felt like a cross country meet. You yeah, know? it felt yeah. like a track meet. Like, a... yeah, that's one thing is we kind of outgrew some of our venues, um, so uh, we're kind of at that point where um, we've separated days. So the elementary kids race on uh, Thursday, we race on Friday, and then we kind of split pools. Like, we have a certain set of schools that race in pool A and a certain set of schools like that... big schools and small schools? No, kind of uh, we just, we have so many schools that they all can't race at the same time. Okay. And we have like, you know, 
250 kids out on the race course yeah. and, you know, 500 that want to compete. So we kind of split them up. But um, So are you in charge of all the programming for these 23 schools? I was up until last year. Okay. <laughs> then it was just, it was too much, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah I feel like. Um, How long did you do it? I did it um, for the last, since 2011. Okay. Yeah, that's a long time. But it's one of those things where I mean, it's it's it, it's the f- most favorite part of my day, absolutely. Yeah. But um, it's you know, monetarily wise, it's yeah. you know, on my own. I know all it's, about that as a coach. <laughs> it's volunteer, um, and I felt like I was spending so much time answering emails, doing the scheduling, doing the permitting that I um, I was kind of slipping with my own. Mm-hmm. Uh, classes. So is it still volunteer? Like, is it still free to all the schools that want to participate? Um, so my school, it is. We do a lot of fundraising. Okay. Uh, one of the things that's coming up this next month is we are uh, doing two aid stations at Ventura Marathon. Mm. And Ventura Marathon is also, uh, the race director is also Josh Spiker. And any... Um, I didn't know we had a marathon. <laughs> yeah. We have two mar- we have two marathons in Ventura actually okay. at Mountains to Beach and oh Ventura the Mountains to Beach I yeah. want to do that one yeah um, so uh, both race directors are really good about giving back to our programs and so um, when we go and volunteer you know we're given money for our program uh, to kind of keep it going so it's been it's been a really nice relationship that we have yeah sounds like this Josh guy's a he's a, a stud staple. Yeah. yeah he's like uh, next on your list I think. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. It sounds like he's been around for a while too. Yeah, he's uh he's a Ventura high grad and he's you know well his his uh his records are starting to get erased by some of his uh, yeah. athletes right now. He he just came on as the first year coach at Ventura High. Okay. And um yeah he's for cross tra- country? For cross country okay. and distance coach for track. Okay. And some of the kids that he's training right now are breaking his records mm-hmm. that have withstood since, you know, mm-hmm. uh early two thousands, so it's kinda of funny. But. Yeah, I I had a school record. I ran track, and we had a good four by eight. Team. Oh, awesome! And uh, we had the school record for like ten years, and everyone thought we'd keep it for a while, and then it was it was gone. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of sad, but yeah, so so this Josh guy, hi. Huh? Yeah. Next on yeah. the list. He's next on the list. Yeah, he's he's a great guy. He's. Oh, uh, so what do you what do you love about coaching? Um. I guess I just love the interaction with the kids. Yeah. Um, right now, uh, and I haven't done this for five years. Um, my last group was five years ago. We, uh, seven of my athletes were training for Ventura Half Marathon. Okay. So um, I have seven, well, I have six eighth graders and one pesky seventh grader that wanted to join us. Okay. <laughs> I usually don't let seventh graders uh do the half marathon program just because I feel like I want them to be, you know, a little bit more mature uh, growth wise. But um, we have seven athletes that are training for Ventura Half right now. That's cool. And um, we're meeting four times a week. Um, we meet three times during the the um, before school, and then we meet on Saturdays. And uh, we're up to ten miles on our training runs right now. For the long days. For the long days. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I remember that. I used to, I did a uh, soccer and then winter conditioning in the winter and then track in the spring and all winter we just ran miles. Yeah, miles and miles. And I just I, I don't know I I just like the um, closeness of the group. Yeah. Like I feel like because of this training, they have become, you know, closer knit. And um, the only reason I can think of that they, you know, they do everything together. They, they have movie parties. There's mm-hmm. six boys and one girl, and they all, you know, they all go to somebody's house and watch a movie. Or last weekend, they, they all went down to Magic Mountain, but it was closed. Oh, no. <laughs> but, um, no, I just, I, I don't know. I was, I was talking to my coworker about this because his son is also part of the group. And, um, and I said, you know, like, there's something about kids that are willing to suffer together. They just, mm-hmm. you know, there's a relationship that they build with each other and understanding that mm-hmm. um, is unlike no other. Yeah. So. Hard running will 
We'll do that to you. I mean, no middle schooler wants to run, you know? <laughs> and these these kids are just, I yeah. don't know, they're really, I, they're just, into it. Yeah, I've got a kid, I've got two soccer teams that I coach, and I would say one, I have one kid that's really driven. Yeah. And it's fun to see, he loves to push himself. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's kind of rare, but it's just, it's fun to see them embrace that. You yeah. Know, not shy away from it. Yeah. I don't know. I always feel like running is something where you got to be okay with being uncomfortable. Yeah. And I don't think a lot of kids, middle school kids at least, are willing to do that. So It's, it's early. Yeah. You know. So to have, you know, seven kids that are willing to feel uncomfortable, it's, I don't know, it's pretty great. Yeah. Have you always been a runner or a fan of running? Did you play anything? Um, no, I, I started out as a soccer player, um, you know, and, yeah, like midfield and just running back and forth. And yeah, yeah. my dad thought that, wow, this kid, you know, she doesn't really tire out. So um, he put me in track and field, and um, I've been running for, I, I want to say, like 45 years now. What did you first run in track? Uh, I don't even remember. I was always good at distance. I never ran sprints. I didn't have, like, my yeah. mile time is the same as my two-mile time, yeah, which is yeah, my yeah. 5K time, which is my marathon time. So yeah. I don't really have the speed, but... Have you completed a, a couple of marathons? You got some under A few. Belt? Yeah? <laughs> I, like I've 10, done... A dozen? Uh, no, I, 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 I keep counting, and I get up to 19, and I thought I, I did 20, and I, I got up to 19, and I, I'm like, eh, I think that's good. Yeah. So I, I haven't done one since 2018. Yeah. But um, for a while, I, like, like super lofty goal, I was trying to qualify for the Olympic trials. Oh, yeah? But um, I, I was— In I the was, marathon? Yeah, I was, I was a little off. Yeah? Yeah. I actually know someone who did qualify in the marathon. I think it was a marathon. And he ran, like— like the minimum three miles every day for three years. Oh and, yeah. And he qualified in something in in the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it was the Olympic trials. Yeah. But some somewhere in that process he got in. Yeah. yeah. We actually went and saw the Olympic trials the last time they were in LA, and it was uh, we had a couple of friends that were running, and um, it's interesting to see everybody that you know you have four years to qualify and yeah. who tows the line and some people tow the line they've been injured for the last two years and they, they're they still out there you know yeah claiming their spot so did, did you ever run uh boston i did yeah i did did you like that i did like boston i mean every marathon i've ever done i've never like people they try and qualify for the for the boston marathon and then they go for the experience and mm, yeah. uh, you know they once kind of they there. kind of embellish it, yeah, and like I, I I I haven't ever had that mindset to just like go and enjoy a marathon. I think that's an oxymoron is <laughs> uh -huh. to enjoy a marathon. But I raced Boston. Um, I actually um, Gary Tuttle, who is uh, you know a well-renowned uh, venture runner, who in 1984 was second in the Boston Marathon. Oh, wow. I actually passed him around the half marathon mark, and I thought, wow, I'm passing Gary Tuttle, <laughs> you know? And then he stopped to kiss some girls at Wellesley College, and <laughs> you know, <laughs> he, had, he had the right mindset. You I was know? still racing. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I used, to, I used to live in Boston. I used to live right on the turn on Beacon Street. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. At Cleveland Circle, when everyone turns and it gets really narrow and yeah. three, miles, three miles left. Yeah. No, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely an experience. Um, I would say New York rates right up there yeah um that's a lot more people yeah right and then i mean la is a great marathon as far as crowd support goes yeah so yeah marathons are tough i did one it's like <sighs> <laughs> i've done two halves i think yeah. we stick with the halves yeah yeah no yeah. it's it's a lot of commitment um you know i mean now that i'm older and i'm not running as fast i i just you know i don't know if i have that yeah. interest to run slower times than I have in the past. So I kind of stepped away from it. Do you do any like ultras? Have it considered? I did one ultra. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was a while ago. Um, I did one ultra and I said I'd never do that again. <laughs> but I said the same thing about childbirth and I had two children. Okay. But <laughs> yeah, no. Um, yeah, it was awesome. I mean, I think like as far as endurance go goes and being an endurance athlete, that's definitely 
my strong suit mm-hmm. um, since I'm not fast. So, uh, yeah, it's just the time commitment. Now, to since, train. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, my body's worn out. I've done 45 years of racing and running, and um, I'm kind of stepped away from running, and uh, we mountain bike mostly. Um, That's fun. Yeah, and now that we have Harmon Canyon open, we just yeah. ride from our house, so um, it's a little easier on the body. So if I were to ask you what – why is running important as a sport for these kids? What does it teach them? Gosh, I what has it know, taught you? Um, I I I think it. I mean, it's uh, you know, it definitely builds self confidence. I mean, that's what I see in these kids. Mm. Um, you know, they 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 go from not being able to you know run a mile to you know running a seven thirty mile or whatever. I mean, at different levels, it's all different. Um, I think that it creates community, mm. a connection, um, a connection to the team, a connection to the school. Um, I, I, they're just super supportive of each other. Um, I can't, I really, you know. Is that fun to see as a coach? Oh, my gosh. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm definitely competitive. Um, we have banners up in the school. Our, our nemesis is Cabrillo Middle School. Okay. Um, but... <laughs> I've always said that my goal is to inspire and to create a lifelong runner. Mm -hmm. So um, as much as I would like to win, I also want to, like, nothing thrills me more than to see an athlete that's gone through my program that's still running, you know, see him down at the beach or Mm -hmm. wherever and see him still, you know, having passion for the sport. Yeah. Where do you think that came from for you? Did you have a coach that inspired you? Like a running coach or was yeah, it I your dad that initially put you Not my dad, in? no. <laughs> my dad was a surfer. Okay. Um, he just wanted companionship. He would take me out on runs and, you know, like at first I would be crying and then, uh, you know, a couple of years later he'd be crying. So, <laughs> um, no, I, I, I definitely think I had people influence me along the way for sure. Um, uh, I had a great high school coach, um, but I was kind of into that before. Tigres, I had great coaches in Tigres. Um, so it really started in middle school. It started in middle and school, it stayed yeah. This whole time, yeah. And I think it's like one of those sports that you need to learn. And for running, it's you know learning how to suffer. Um, that you need to learn as a youngster because it's hard to teach yourself that mm-hmm. as an adult. Mm. Kind of like swimming. Uh, we've been ocean swimming, and Ooh. I mean, I I'm I'm strong, and I just not fast. Yeah, and it's I know it's technique, but um, like I I wish I would have learned that when I was a kid. But do you do any triathlons? I have. Is I've, that I've done next? triathlons. Uh, no, I've done triathlons like ever since the nineties. Okay. Yeah, we kind of dabble in triathlons and. Mountain bike races and I don't know, yeah. just kind of all over the place. Just sort of when you feel up to it, you sign up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think I'm an athlete at heart. Um, I'm a PE teacher. I mean, I love sports. Mm-hmm. Um, we were playing pickleball at school today, and one of the kids was like, oh, you're good at this too. And I was like... <laughs> I'm just athletic. <laughs> I might not have it up here, but I can. I have yeah. good hand-eye coordination. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. That's funny. Yeah, I, I sometimes I play with soccer with the kids, and it's like soon they're going to be quicker than me, but I'm still quicker. But I also just see the field better. You know, I just Absolutely. understand how yeah. this game. Yeah, my works. husband always says that you need to. Um, okay, I have the word. Uh, pr- uh, pr- anticipate. anticipate. He's like, you need to anticipate. And that's what I think adults have over kids is you need to anticipate where the ball is. Yeah. Well, some kids get it and some kids need to be taught it. Yeah. And it's, I feel like I always had it as a kid, like just go it's, here. Yeah. You it's know? natural. It's natural. And some kids just need to, I don't know. Train. Train, train for train. it. Yeah. So ultras, marathons, triathlons. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Thank you. What What would you do? If you weren't running as like a second sport, do you have a second thing that you do besides, you know, these ultra endurance athletes? 
Um, well, you know, pickleball, maybe <laughs> pickleball. I think that's a little slow for me. I see it as a social thing. Um, not to dismiss pickleball players. I'm sure like, you know, uh -huh. if I were better at it, maybe it would be a little bit more active for me. Um, no, I, I love riding my bike. Um, I mean, we have the perfect weather here. Yeah. Um, we, we like to go snow skiing. Um, like a big bear or something. Not no, here. we're, we're kind of <laughs> snobby that way. <laughs> Oh, big bear's not <laughs> no. good enough. <laughs> uh, you go to yeah, we're we're fortunate that you know we have a family place up in June Lake, and so that's mm. where we go mostly. Yeah, and that's, that's just, also where I I spend time training during the summer. Yeah, that's just uh, it's a little far for. It is, it is, but it's a beautiful drive. So yeah. it it and and when once you get used to like the differences between the snow, I think that you really, just, I don't know. What explain this to me? Because I I haven't been that far. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been to Big Bear for a while. Okay. Um, but the one thing I do like about um, you know, June Mountain in particular is that it's not very crowded. Mm -hmm. Um, that it's like more of a family ski area, and um, the snow's really. I, I mean, I I can tell the difference. I don't know. Um, I've seen some pretty gnarly videos <laughs> on the internet of like super long lines. For the lifts or so for that, the gondolas? That, yeah, that would be more mammoth, yeah, not, not June, a June Mountain. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been the same ski area without any improvements probably over the last, I don't know, 30 years. So not a lot has been done to it. Mm -hmm. And some people like it that way and some people don't. So mm -hmm. um, we like it. So um, Is it a little less expensive then? It is a little less expensive. Yeah, that's nice. It is. It is. And we got married um, in 2022, and our wedding present was season passes. So we got spoiled with that. <laughs> and it was a great ski year last year. We had a lot of fun, and then this year it's been a little dismal. Yeah, it hasn't. Yeah, hasn't we haven't really we haven't out. seen much, but we're hoping to get up there again. So. Have you ever tried snowboarding? Is that? Yeah. Yep. I imagine your athletic. Yeah, you want to try it at some point. Yeah, no, I, I, I yeah, I have a snowboard. Um, I mean, I, I've been skiing since I was five. My dad was a ski patrolman when I was a kid, okay. so we went up to Mount Baldy a lot. And in order for him to keep his certification, we had to go twice a month. So, and then when snowboarding came out, I was like, yeah, let's try it. So, yeah. um, so I have both, but I'm mainly a skier, but. Yeah. If there's fresh powder, I love to put my snowboard on and yeah, have fun with that. Yeah, I think snowboarding is like one of the most beautiful sports there is. Yeah. You know, they can really launch themselves and it's just... Yeah, I'm, I'm more of a like yeah. board on the ground, yeah, yeah, skis yeah. on the ground, tires on the ground, feet on the ground feet on the kind ground. of girl. <laughs> yeah, all those steps, all those <laughs> yeah. runs. Yeah. Do you have a favorite place to run here? On the beach and the Harmon Canyon? Or? I love Harmon. I love trail running. I mean, it's, you know, I really do. Um, obviously, the beach is uh, my go-to spot as well. Um, but, yeah, I love trail running. I mean, that's, you know, I, we have amazing trail network, Ojai, Santa Monica, mm -hmm. um, Montecito. But, um, yeah, Montecito. Some... So we're, we're really lucky in that. And it's a little easier on the body. Yeah. Do you ever see any uh, exciting wildlife? Yeah, I think like it, it's been a while. Um, I was mountain biking though on sulfur. I, I've seen all my mountain lion uh, interactions on sulfur mountain for whatever reason. Um, but I was biking up sulfur and I was probably like three and a half miles up and I saw a little baby come down the hill. Mm. And I was like, wait, that's cute, you know? And then, yeah. I, then I thought about it for a second and I was like, well, there's... There's got to be a mama behind that baby. And so yeah. I just hung out for a while. I think I called my husband, and he's like, yeah, just wait. And so sure <laughs> enough, mom comes down, and I don't know. I feel like if I give them their space, they'll give me my space and yeah. respect one another. Yeah, I don't try to impede on their territory. Yeah, We, yeah. Ocean, we ocean swim as well, and a lot of uh, people ask us if we're, like, you know, we're afraid of sharks. And I feel the same way. Like, I won't eat shark. Mm. So we have that like agreement. Yeah. I won't eat you. You won't eat me. We're good. They can tell <laughs> you're one of those people. Yeah, <laughs> we respect one another. What is? I've tried to ocean swim once, but I, very unsuccessfully. How do you do it successfully? How do you? 
What's yeah. the proper way to do it? Do yeah, you go I, out? You go across? You do a so, triangle? Yeah, like, I've been the... swimming with um, these uh, these people. They they call themselves the Seaward Swimmers for um, no better term. They meet down at Seaward. Yeah. And they swim jetties. And it's we're always swimming north. So okay. we, we swim toward the pier. Yeah. Um, and usually it's a mile in length. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I mean, I have a hard time sighting. Um, when we swim jetties, I only breathe from the left, so mm. I'm looking out at the ocean. Yeah. But, um, no, I, I mean, I try to follow someone, but, I, it, you know, I just find it very, like, peaceful and calming and mm-hmm. introspective. So that's, a, like, a group that you just There joined. is a group. Okay. There is a group, yeah. yeah. And they're down there most mornings. Do you ever swim, like, laps at a pool? Is that- I do. I have, yeah. I was. I did master swimming for a while at Kemble uh, Pool. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, it, it's, it's kind of like running. You know, I'd rather, like, run outside, not on a treadmill, not around right. a track. I'd rather right. swim in the ocean than yeah. in a pool. Do you ever uh, – have you ever coached track? I have. I, when my kids were in um, – T grades. I coached T grades for a number of years, from the time they were in Gremlins to all the way to middle school. So f- for a long time. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? I mean, was it? I, I mean, it's awesome. It's you know like. It's the same kind of spirit. The coaches as and the country. kids are still you know really good friends of mine. So yeah, yeah it's like it, it's a community. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Do they have have your youngest students or runners? I mean, they're all up as, as adults by at this point. Um, yeah, like my first year back teaching after having kids, I think those kids are around 25 years old now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you ever see them or run into them? I do. I do. See them on the trail? Um, yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah. The, it, some of them went on, you know, and had great running careers, like some that were just mediocre runners in mm-hmm. middle school. And, um, yeah, it's, I, I, it's, it's awesome. I have um, a former um, student, Zen. And his from Ojai, huh? From Ojai? No, he's not from Ojai. He's from Ventura. But his dad, who is a teacher at Foothill, his dad actually got into running because the kid got into running, and Mm. now they've they have a sport that they do together. And um, I don't know. I think that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, I had a Zen tryout for my soccer team. Oh, really? So I just might have been the same kid, but it It seems like a kid that would be from Ojai. Yeah. (laughs) That's he was from Ohio, and I was like, "Oh, that's an Ohio name." Yeah, I just you know it can't be that many Zens around. No, here. he's he's in college now, so yeah, but Zen, huh? Interesting. Uh, what about like any um, books? When you said that kids aren't as um, successful in middle school, but they had success later, it reminded me of a book that I read, Ultra Marathon Man. Have you okay. read that one? No. It's like, um, you know, it's a simple premise. This guy runs, you know, ultras. Was that, is that um, what's the? Who is the author? I know it. I know who you're talking about, though. Is that yeah. that shorter guy who's kind of built? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty um, defined. Who did like fifty marathons in yeah. fifty days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget what his name is. But is his? I know who you're talking about. Though. Yeah, his middle school. I want to say middle school, maybe freshman year, some something like that. Track coach sort of just like made fun of him one time at practice, and he stopped running for years and years. And on his thirtieth birthday, he ran thirty miles, and that was like his yeah turning point to get back into running. I, it's gonna it's gonna stump me not knowing his name. <laughs> yeah, but any any books like that that have inspired you or that you've passed no, along? No, I think that, like, I have an intrinsic nature to, like, go hard mm. in life. Um, <laughs> and my husband found out the hard way that a vacation is just an excuse to work out all day. Mm. So uh, <laughs> um, it's a little abnormal, but, um, I mean, not. I, I think it's all in moderation. I mean, I think we have a really good balance um, but you know, we went, we went to Oahu over fall break and, you know, we, we definitely like did some running and, uh, did some ocean swimming and hiking and 
surfing and all of those things. And But we also like to have a good time and eat good food. And yeah. Well, I mean, if you're in Hawaii, you have to go surfing. And I don't have to go surfing, but he, okay. he went surfing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you like to surf too? You know what? For a while, I was surfing when we'd go on vacation. I think that so my dad, um, he was he uh, he's seventy eight now, and he still surfs, you know, pretty regularly. Um, but he's like an old time surfer. Mm-hmm. So I think that like because that was his sport, that I kind of you know steered away from okay. that. Plus, I think that one of the first times that we went surfing, we went to, um, went, we, it was in Hawaii, and I know we were on base somewhere, and it must have been like four to six feet, and he was like, oh, Mary, you should go out and surf. And like literally the first wave I caught, my my board purled, and I like went under, and I did the whole tumbling thing, and yeah. then I came out crying, and I was like, eh. That's an experience. <laughs> I don't think that's my sport. <laughs> But, um, no, I mean, I, I, you know, and then nowadays, I mean, I just think it's just super aggressive and I don't know. I like, like surfing's the, aggressive. I think so. A little bit like, like catching the surfing a wave. Cu- culture or like, well, I don't know. I, I, it seems really competitive, I guess, like, you know, to catch a wave and I just want to, I, I like going out there and enjoying like yeah. my surroundings and not like worrying about like other people, you other mean? people. Yeah. Yeah. It can get crowded sometimes. Yeah. I mean, we're, you know, we're, we're great spot to surf, so. Absolutely. It's hard to... No, I, I mean, I, I think it's, you know, it's, I love watching it. We watch, you know, YouTube videos um, all the time of surfing, probably more than I care to. Mm-hmm. But. <laughs> okay. Why, why surfing? <laughs> My husband likes to surf. Okay. Um, and, I, you know, I grew up with, it's familiar to me. My brother surfs and, yeah, it's, I come from a surfing family, but, um yeah, surfing's cool. Yeah. I feel like it's one of the coolest sports. Just it's, inherently cool. And, you know? and and running's a nerdy sport. And, so yeah. like I have like <laughs> cool versus nerd, so I gotta embrace my nerd. Yeah. That's what you should tell your athletes. <laughs> embrace your nerd. Embrace your nerd. No, they the, come up with all kinds of uh, slogans. Uh they were like Data Cross Country, we had this this was one of their favorite Running sucks. Running sucks. <laughs> running sucks sweatshirt. And then uh, they're like, Dad, across country, we cut corners. <laughs> huh. That's funny. <laughs> so they were coming up with all kinds of slogans. It was pretty funny. Did you come up with that design? Or I, did... wish I, I, I wish I could say yes, um, but Josh what? Biker. Oh, okay. Yeah. I saw it on, he had it in his store, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I have to do that for our cross country sweatshirts. So at the end of every season, we have a banquet, and uh-huh. I always give them a new sweatshirt. Mm. And so part of that fundraising that we do goes toward, you know, buying them a sweatshirt. And then you'll go on campus the next day and you'll see, like, all 50 kids wearing that sweatshirt. That's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. And then, so this is a fave, definitely. And then, you know, people outside of the running community, yeah, I want one of those. Mm -hmm. How much for one of those sweatshirts? Running sucks is a great (laughs) sweatshirt. I was like, and then my principal was like, oh, running sucks. I'm like, yeah, it makes you breathe. You suck in air. (laughs) (laughs) So it's it's kind of been a joke with our our little group, but yeah. That's a great little slogan. Yeah, I like it. So no one else can claim that slogan. No, Cabrillo can't claim that slogan. No, they can't. They can't claim it. They're they're not. We're like, we might be nerdy, but we're cooler, oh, nerdy. Cabrillo's than Cabrillo. nerdier. Yes, they are. Wow, they're a little more straight laced than Dianza. What a what a jab. <laughs> That's a shout out to you, Cabrillo. <laughs> we're taking you down next year. <laughs> do you know the uh, Cabrillo coach? I do. Yeah. Yeah, we we haggle back and forth all the time. It's pretty hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> to the point where sometimes I get upset because. I mean, Cabrillo, um, you know, they they have a strong program. Uh-huh. And Do they the, have more kids? They have more kids. I mean, they're probably double our size. Um, yeah. The way that the boundaries are set, there is a lot of very affluent kids that go to Cabrillo. Mm. And um, not, you know, not to knock them for that. I mean, but um, I feel like I have to work a little harder, mm. you know? So um, I'm... You know, I'm out in PE, and any kid that shows me a little bit of natural talent, mm-hmm. and I'm pulling him into cross country, mm-hmm. or I like 
like this year, I have some kids that didn't join. And then, like, pinky swear, you're doing cross country next year, you know? And it's funny how it's just that little, like, interaction. Remember when I told you I'd do cross country ne next year, Miss Pedersen? And they show up, so. Yeah. But, no, we've been battling Cabrillo for years. <laughs> how many how many kids do you have on the cross country team for your school? Um, I always have a, between fifty and sixty, which is pretty large considering that our school is only about five hundred and forty students. Yeah, so, so we 10%. we've got a we've got a good um, for you know for a sport like running. Do yeah. they also have um, like soccer and football and basketball, baseball? Uh, yeah, we both we we've, we've both taught um, we've both coached excuse me coached soccer. Uh, we were joining the Oxnard League. They had uh, seven on seven soccer, and mm -hmm. we play out at um, Parque de Sol. And yeah, we both taught that, uh, coached that for a while. Um, Did you like it? Just two seasons. Yeah. Um, well, I taught. I, I coached when my girls were going through the program. Um, no, I, I mean, I, you know, like I said, I come from a soccer background and Mike's, you know, super into soccer still. He watches English Premier League all the time. But, there you go. Um, Saturday mornings. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, uh, it, it was just taking, you know, I, I have kids of my own. So, uh, you know, sometimes or my own workouts just mm -hmm. takes a little time out of your mm -hmm. your personal life. But I mean, I love it. But yeah. but there there's something about cross country that. You that's know, your most that, favorite. That, that, yeah, that's that's special to me. And there's a there's some like nationally ranked kids that have gone through that program. Yeah, we have um, that middle school program. So, um, and not that I claim her, but um, Sadie Englehart, who is at Ventura High right now, she's a junior. She is a nationally ranked high school runner. She actually beat Mary Decker Slaney's. 14 and under a mile time. So she runs a mile? She's a miler. Uh -huh. But, I mean, she's in. she just finished her cross-country season. She was, you know, a pretty stellar runner. I, I remember a few years ago there was a, like a team of, I want to say a relay team from Thousand Oaks. Oh, couple that's of Newberry boys, Park. Newberry Park. Newberry Park. Yeah. yeah. The, the Leo and Lex Young. Something and like that. They have an older brother, Nico. What were they running? Was, and, it was a relay. Oh, uh, they were doing the four by eight in Pennsylvania. Right. Yeah, I, insane. Yeah, those kids. They're all. They're all in college now. Yeah. But yeah. Where do you think that came from? They just talent. Um. Absolutely good. talent. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh. Do they have a good program up there? Is it, do you know those? Newberry coaches? Park had a great program for a while. The coach that was at Newberry Park ended up getting the um, head position at UCLA. Oh, okay. And it kind of broke that team yeah. up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But Lex and Leo, they graduated last year and they went on to Stanford, and um, and then you know, <laughs> then it kind of, it kind of broke that program up though after the coach after left. The coach left. Yeah, yeah. That's too bad. There might have been a little bit of recruiting going on too. I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. I school? know that some of the Camarillo kids were going to Newberry Park High. Yeah. Well, I th I mean I feel like that's. Almost common these days. Kids it, are it, it does going seem to like, different. Yeah, schools. it does seem like that. Um, and I think part of the uh, what's going on right now, at least in our school district and probably in Oxnard as well, is we have low enrollment. And before, you know, like Ventura High was impacted. They can't have any students transferring, mm -hmm. you know, from Boina over to Ventura High or vice versa. Um, but now that we have a lower enrollment, kids are a little bit more fluid. Hmm. So they're able to go to a school that is out of their boundary. You would kind of think it might be the opposite. If there were less kids, the school would want them more. But there's there's a... just openings for them to go there. Oh, it's the openings. Yeah, so oh, now like okay. Ventura High is not impacted. So a kid that I wants see, I to see. go to Ventura High for... So they're X, not, Y, and Z, they can. It's not like really no, lo, low numbers. It's just like there's more space available. Now. Exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's just common these days. The kids are... Yeah, so they're able to move move around a little bit more. Does that happen in middle school too? I don't think so. Too I, early I, I, for that? Yeah, I don't think so. No, I mean, no. It's huh. a little too early for that, I think. 
Yeah. Have you coached high school? Did I already ask you that? No, I haven't coached high school. No, Did I you, have not. Would you want to? I, I don't. It's it's so involved. Um, it, yeah, I don't know. I I think, yeah, I think that's a, I, I love like where I'm at. I love the um, the age. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm a 53 year old in a m- middle school mentality. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's, but like I get their jokes. I think they're hilarious. Yeah. Um, I love not being too serious. Yeah. Um, I'll put the pressure on the high school coaches for that, mm. and the the parents. I wouldn't want to have to worry about like, you know. Something yeah. I did that didn't get them into the school they wanted to go to or whatever. What about maybe this is – what about college coaching? College coaching. Even more stress uh, maybe, or even less stress? Oh, I don't know. Maybe like at the community college level, I think that be, would be fun for sure. Yeah. But my enjoyment comes from running with the kids and, mm. and you know – You run with them. I do run with them. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's not going as well as it used to. Okay. You know <laughs> – so uh, yeah, like I said, the group that I have now—they're just—they're—they're they're super into it. They're—they're they're really fast, mm. you know. They're um, so they're running in the, you know, six thirty for their long runs. That's what their pace per mile is, and that was something I could do like, yeah, thirteen years ago. But yeah. now it's it's a little harder to do that. I could do that for one mile, but not for 10 miles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess maybe at the college level, they would just... <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it maybe not particularly at VC, yeah. um, just because, you know, if they were that stellar, they would be going off to a four-year. But yeah. who, there's always good athletes that, you know, show up and mm-hmm. are, you know, killing it. So... Mm-hmm. What's a good, uh, what's a typical cross-country workout? Um, a typical cross-country workout. So uh, we usually, like we meet um, in season, we meet like three times a week. So we'll do like a long run. We'll meet like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay. And we'll do like a longer run on Monday. But, you know, remember these are middle school. So we start off, like maybe the brand new kids will run like a mile. Yeah. And then the more seasoned kids will run like three miles. And then we'll get up throughout the season. We 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 have iconic runs that we do. Like we always, one of our iconic runs is to run to the cross because okay. that's in our neck of the up woods. The hill. And that's about um, a five, five and a half mile run for our kids. And then we always run down to the beach at some point. Yeah. And we all jump in the water. Yeah. <laughs> so that's to. that's one of our well, and it's funny because we'll see Cabrillo and they're like tromping along the beach and you know, we're all like ah <laughs> But um no, so uh we get up to six miles and then we do you know, we do speed workout on Wednesdays and that varies, you know, we might start out with a mile worth of speed workout and up to two and a half miles of speed workout. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then, um, you know, Friday is another easy run. I noticed a lot of the race, when the race I saw, not a lot of kids were wearing spikes. Is that not allowed? Um, or just the kids don't do it? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm sure some kids were wearing cross-country type flats. Yeah. But um, not, on a, not on a trail. They wouldn't wear spikes on a trail. Oh, I wait. know that they do that in college. Okay. Um, probably with the wetter uh, type terrains. But... Um, no, like for me, like I just have the kids run in their training shoes. Mm-hmm. I'm, you know, I, I don't want to cause any injuries sometimes when you're going with something that's less supportive, then you, you're more prone to injury. And um, no, I, like I said, this is still developmental sport. And I'm, I'm happy with, with that, you know. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Uh... Keeps you keeps your perspective on coaching. Sometimes you know you have to remember. Oh, these are just kids. They're just middle schoolers. Where you know, what what helps you keep your perspective? Sometimes when you when you get co- when you're coaching and you might get a little too into it. What brings you back? Oh God. Um, yeah. I, uh, like I remember, like 
like really trying to, we were, I think it was a couple of years ago. It's Cabrillo again. We've been battling them for years. And I, I think I was like really kind of like putting a lot of pressure on the kids about like, hey, we could win this, but this is what you need to do. Mm-hmm. And then this last year, I was like, I'm not going to say anything. I'm like, mm-hmm. hey, go have a great race. You know, I don't want to put that pressure on them. I don't want them to think too much about it because, mm-hmm. you know, in the end, it's just one foot in front of the other. Like mm-hmm. I, I always say, don't make running so complicated. It's just one foot in front of the other. Um, I don't know if it's a perspective. I just know that I used to beat myself up a lot when I had a bad race, you know. And how? You, yeah. So how has your coaching style changed? It sounds oh, like I don't. I think I've always been pretty relaxed. Okay. Yeah. Um. I, I know that, like, you know, laying it on thick is not gonna produce any better results than like sitting back and letting them do the work. I I definitely put like little thoughts in their head. I had a kid that, um, man, he was just running so well in practice and, you know, he's, he was in the top five in the league and, um, our fastest kid was out with COVID and I was like telling him, Asher, I, I think you could take this race on Friday. You know, I, I, I don't see anybody that's running as well as you. I think you could take it. I'm like, you don't have to lead it from start to finish. Mm-hmm. But, you know, make sure that you're you're in the hunt near the end. Kid ran, like, started out, like, was oh, no. 25 yards in front of the whole pack. <laughs> no, he ran scared the whole time, but he won. He pulled oh, off the win. He stayed in but, lane. yeah, no, he, he pulled it off. And, like, when I see those little things where I feel like they could, you know, it's going to be successful, I'll, I'll put the idea in their head. But um, I don't do that a lot. And it wasn't a finals race. So it was it was just, you know, for himself. He, yeah. he went he went and got the W, and he was super stoked about it. And So what would you say is your most, like, effective coaching tool? Um, I, I think it's just having fun with the kids, joking around, um, just, you know, working hard, but like also having a good time. Yeah. I, I feel like I've found that balance pretty well. Have you feel, you feel like you've always had that balance? I, I, I feel like, like. Pretty good? I feel like I have. Like yeah. I, you know, I always say, oh, I'm not good at a lot of things, but I am good at this, mm. you know? And I, I feel like, um. I, I've always been able to maintain a really light air with running while having high expectations. Mm-hmm. Sounds like you just love coaching. I love the kids. Yeah, you love the kids. Yeah. What do you do in the summertime? Do you take a break from the kids? I mean, you're you're off essentially. You know, right? uh, last year was the first year that I taught summer school, no <laughs> and kidding. I had a, I had a great time. I actually, you know, and these were kids that are super non athletic. They failed yeah. um, high school PE, and um, I had just a I had about fifteen kids, and we just we were like the breakfast club. We just yeah. became super tight and. Um, you know, they they were so a handful. So this is summer school PE. This is summer school PE. I had them for like four and a half hours, Those and are... we're doing everything under the sun. You know, we're we're walking everywhere. We're you know, and we're doing sport. Um, yeah, we're. But uh, how do you fail <laughs> PE? I I ask that I ask myself that question all the time. My partner teacher and I we look at each other and I was like. You know, just show up. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to be athletic to pass PE. Just no, do the minimum not, of something. Yeah, so, um, no, I usually, uh, you know, I, I usually take a break. I do my own thing. Um, my I have a daughter that's 16 years old, and so she's, you know, she's doing her, you know, her sport. She's cross-country and soccer. And, yeah, she still competes yeah. and plays. And then and... I have a 19-year-old that's, um, uh, she was very athletic and kind of went, the creative artsy side so she's she's doing that but no i i you know I, I i do take a break but you know i have kids that hit me up and we we mountain bike with students and former students and you know you can't really hide out in ventura yeah it's this <laughs> nice small town yeah what about um what do you do outside of coaching any, any other hobbies besides extreme you sports? You know what? I don't have any hobbies besides extreme sports. Okay. Not really. <laughs> it's a pretty mundane uh, life. No, we have we have a huge friend group, and we are all are like-minded. Um, 
we play hard. We like to have a good time. Um, so uh, we're pretty busy with that, I would say. Is there like an adult league for running? Like there is like adult league for soccer? There is. Um, so we ha- we're in Ventura Running Club, which is also run by Josh Biker. <laughs> Josh is next. Josh, Josh, you're next. <laughs> um, no, he he's amazing. You love him. But um, we do long runs on Sundays, and then they also do track on Wednesday nights. Okay. So um, so it's adult like track. Like a track workout? It's a track workout. It's okay. a coach track workout. What? Uh, I should do that. What time is it at? It's at 6. Uh, I got practice. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, at the school? Um, it was, it, it's been at Buena forever, um, but since Josh has been coaching at Ventura High, I saw that the workout was at Ventura High this week. Yeah. But usually it's at Buena. Huh. But, yeah, so that's that's part of I I don't do that so much anymore because I'm too injury prone, but oh, you don't I do, do the, do I do the, the long club. runs. Oh, you do the long runs. Yeah, I do the long runs. And where do you guys go? We meet down at the beach, and, you know, everybody's like, training for different things, and uh, we always have breakfast at Beach House Tacos after, so. Mm. You know, it's a, tacos are surprisingly good there. <laughs> They're really good. It's like, you would think it's a tourist trap because it's on the pier. Right. And it's like, oh, these are good tacos. They are really good tacos. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a favorite uh, taco stand or or favorite favorite? I mean, I could like eat, eat. I could eat tacos like for every meal of the day. Yeah. I could have a breakfast taco. Uh, yeah, El Pastor. Fish, taco- fish tacos. I, I, mean, I love fish tacos. I work on the avenue, so we have plenty of tacos. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, we're 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 pretty. Uh, fish tacos are a uh, really California thing, though. Yeah. If you go to other parts of the country, they're just like you know they have regular tacos, which is fine, but fish tacos. Yeah. Is- yeah. The the popularity of it is much bigger here. What about like uh my favorite restaurant in and out? You still go to in and out? <laughs> Do I go to in and out? Um for a road trip, I think I go to in and out, but okay. it's just too crowded. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to wait an hour for a burger. My husband can make me a burger at home. Yeah. You do have to get the right time. Yeah. Friday night, no way. Yeah. My my kids love it though. They go there. But yeah. There's something about like the walk of life in and out. There's all kinds of people there, <laughs> you know, and it's just fun to be a part of. It's fun yeah. to be a part of the community. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anything else you want to share about your experience coaching or running or, you Gosh, know, I mean, I feel like. Something you're holding on that you just, you have to say. I, well, I, I can't reveal all my secrets. We'll come back and we'll do it again. <laughs> I understand. That's a good, that's a good ploy. <laughs> Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks yeah, for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. This is the Young Athletic. I'm with Mary Pedersen, the cross-country coach for De Anza Middle School. So thank you. Thank you.